if I heard one more person <laughs> pronounce the word F-A-U-X as Fox, I'm gonna go crazy. I'm going to go nuts. F-A-U-X is faux. What's up you guys, CC back with another video and today's video is going to be our October favorite. first time watching me or any of my videos make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button you also want to make sure you click the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you can always be notified of all of my future videos because you never want to miss a single upload make sure you're following me on Instagram at Yvette Loves Beauty and also subscribe to my family vlog channel right here on YouTube at Bradley TV so October favorites October favorites where the hell did the time go this year is over okay in the blink of an eye gonna be thanksgiving in a couple weeks then it's gonna be christmas and we're gonna be in 2020 before you know it so october favorites i don't have that many favorites this month y'all i've been really using the same products for real and then on top of that i haven't really been doing that much makeup just because I've been okay with being ugly every day, you know, I'm pregnant and I'm just, I'm just getting out of my first trimester. I'm actually still in my first trimester, but I'll be out in a couple of days and I've just been totally okay with being ugly, like seriously. So I haven't been using that much makeup, but I do have a few things sitting in front of me that I do want to mention because they've been kind of keeping me put together this month. Okay. So first things first, I'm wearing it on my lips and it is the Fancy Beauty. Stunna Lip Paint in Underdog. This is her brand new Stunna Lip Paint. I hauled this a couple weeks ago, I think. I got this very early October and I absolutely love this color. This is the fall color. Like this is the reason I love fall is for a color like this. Like, yes. <laughs> so I'm just very, I don't know. I was very excited when I saw that this lip color was coming out and I've literally been using it like all the time. So absolutely love this shade. Another favorite of mine this month has also been from Fenty Beauty and it is the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Bronzer in Cocoa Naughty. I have been using this stuff like crazy. Like I'll go through phases where I'll put it down pick it back up, put it down, pick it back up. And this was definitely a month where I picked it back up and have not been able to put it down. I just love the blendability of this bronzer. I feel like you can't overdo it with this bronzer, which is really nice. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful product if you don't have it. Now with that, I've also pulled out something that you guys are gonna be surprised about. And it is the Hula Beauty Toasted Bronzer by Benefit. So I have not used this in months. and. I, it's just because of the, the shape of the packaging. This whole box shape is not, it's just absolutely not functional. Like it's hard to put your brush in. I feel like you're never able to use this all up because you can't get to the sides of the box and they just need to stick with regular packaging. I feel like this, I would like this bronzer a lot more if it just had normal packaging like something like this. But anyway, I did pick this up this month. I'm actually wearing it today and I feel like I'm liking it more than I liked it in the past. I felt like it was a little choppy before and I'm not getting that when I use it this month. So maybe it was the products I was using it with. Maybe I just wasn't using it right. I don't know, but I'm actually enjoying it this month. So yeah. I've also been able to use and um, really, really, really dive into the Smashbox. This is the Photo Finish Setting Powder and it's shaped like a little lens, like a camera lens. It's so cute. But what's really, oh gosh, amazing about this powder is that you kind of grind fresh powder and it's kind of messy. So I don't love that part. But it's a pressed powder and then it comes with a grinder. So you turn it and you're like grinding fresh loose powder as you twist it. And I'm not going to do it because it's kind of messy. But the powder that's inside is really gorgeous. I'm actually wearing it today um, to top off my makeup. And 
I love how lightweight the powder is. It doesn't really provide you any color, but it's just super lightweight and I feel like it's that 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 setting powder, that last finishing touch that you need on your makeup. So moving into foundations, I do have two and the first one is an oldie but goodie. Actually both of these are oldie but goodies but this is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I pulled this out again this month wearing it today and absolutely loving it. This foundation never gets old for me. It's just such a gorgeous foundation. You cannot go wrong when you're wearing this and I mean I Every time I wear it, I literally get compliments on my skin with people asking me, what do you have on your face? Like stopping me in the street. Like what is on your face? Tell me right now. And it's this, like this so gorgeous like just such a great formula NARS did that okay I am in the shade Cadiz in this foundation and it's like my perfect shade another amazing foundation that I've been using is the Huda Beauty this is the faux filter high coverage cream foundation and I'm in the shade gingerbread 430 N. this is another absolute favorite foundation of mine I don't use it all the time it's like super full coverage but your skin is gorgeous when they call this faux filter they mean it i mean oh and if i hear speaking of that if i hear one more person <laughs> pronounce the word f-a-u-x as fox i'm gonna go crazy i'm going to go nuts f-a-u-x is faux like faux fur it's faux which means fake that's what the word faux means like faux filter means fake filter this isn't really a filter it's a foundation but they're calling it a faux filter you know you get it you get it f-a-u-x faux just wanted to put a little lesson in there okay so anyway i'm in love with this foundation i use it actually i use it several times this month but um, the most memorable time, my grandmother, we gave her a surprise 88th birthday party and I used this when I went to the party and my skin was so gorgeous and literally I swear to God my cousins were like, oh my God, your foundation is everything. And I'm like, thanks girl, what are you wearing? And it was this right here. I mean, it's just full coverage goodness, okay? If you want to look your best, this, this is it. Might as well keep the Huda Beauty going. I do have a lipstick that I've been using all month and it's the Huda Beauty lipstick. This is her matte lipstick in graduation day. Oh my goodness. This is the most like beautiful matte mauve lipstick. And not only that, but these are like velvet to the touch. I mean, these lipsticks are they're gorgeous i mean they're just really velvety smooth they stay on your lips and i am obsessed with this whole formula i have several of them and i think i'm going to add some to my sephora sale cart because these like i'm obsessing over these right here oh one more huda beauty product i must have been all huda beauty crazy this month is the huda beauty um obsessions palette this is in topaz obsessions if you all watched my ipsy my ipsy glam bag ultimate unboxing then you would have seen me get this in the bag and i haven't been able to put it down since i promise you this baby oh with just like the rust colors and the brown and the what do you call this shade like the mustard shade oh my god i am obsessed with this palette i mean I, this is my palette like if i was going to create a palette it would look something like this i you can just use this for every day you can use it for nighttime looks daytime looks you can do so much with a palette like this i mean you could literally wear it out and use it every single day and it, and it would go with whatever outfit you had on whatever look you were trying to create like this is my like ideal palette right here Last but not least, I did pull out the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water again this month. This time of year is when I really start to pull this stuff out to really hydrate my skin. I also did a setting spray declutter and it kind of reminded me that I need to use this. If you haven't seen that declutter, I will link it right up there in the cards, but it really reminded me that I need to like give myself a kick in the butt and use this primer water. 
My skin just feels so good and so hydrated when I do use this. I normally use it before my makeup and I would just mist my face with it even before my moisturizer. So this will be the first thing that I put on my face after my toner. Then I'll go on with the moisturizer. Then I'll go on with my primer and do my makeup routine and so forth. I'll also use this if my face is looking a little powdery. Just from all the makeup that I've put on, I will go ahead and use this sometimes and it just helps to get rid of some of that powdery look. So you can use this several different ways. Um, my favorite way though is probably before my makeup. But that is it you guys. I told you this was going to be a quick video. I hope you guys enjoyed my October favorites. I hope you had a very, very blessed October and I am wishing you nothing but blessings for November and December for the rest of 2019 and into 2020. There are some great videos coming up on this channel so make sure you're subscribed. Make sure your notification bells are clicked. I'm sorry you guys, I do not feel well but I had to get this video out for you guys. I love you so, 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 so much. You guys have no idea how much I appreciate you. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for just everything. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye you guys. Mwah.